Hey guys, welcome to Tech Talk. I'm Sean Real. We're out here today on the Sportsman Open 352 to go over some very simple usage of your Yamaha gauge through the Sportlink system integrated into the Garmin units. The first thing we're going to do is show you how to access the Yamaha gauge. To do that, we're going to click on Home, go to Vessel, Scroll over to you see Yamaha and click there, and we're right where we need to be with the gauge up. One cool new feature of the Garmin update is that you can pin different apps or pages. We've got our Yamaha gauge pinned, and you can access it easily just by clicking through the bottom here next to the home button. If you want to learn how to do this, Jim made a great video and we'll link it below. Once you've accessed the gauge, you've got very basic information about your boat and your motors all in one easy place. Starting at the top left, you've got your trip, just like your car, shows mileage. You've got the hours for your engines, very simple time, access to your autopilot, speedometer, fuel level indicator. Below all this, you've got your basic information about how many gallons you've used, your fuel flow, and your fuel economy. Next to that is your rudder indicator. It's a great way to see which way your engines are facing without actually having to turn around and look at them. It's very useful when you're in a tight situation trying to get into the dock and don't want to turn around to see which way your engines are facing. Moving on from that, you've got your shift indicator with forward, neutral, and reverse, your RPM information, and your trim angle indicator. This allows you to keep your eyes forward and know what angle your engines are at without taking your eyes off what's in front of you. This creates a safer boating environment for everyone. Below that, you've got water temperature, oil pressure, and your battery information. And that's the basics of the Yamaha screen. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.